Hey, how are y'all doing? I'm back, so I'm going to do a few videos tonight. As you can see, we're going to start off with Kentrail. The young boy, my yachts. Oh, so, I actually have a list of all his baby mamas, so I can at least pull, yes, a list, um, a card on all of them just to get his view on their relationship. Just one quick pull. Not gonna be here all day because there's so much that surrounds this young man. <sighs> there, I know y'all say Vine got a lot of drama. So, NBA Young Boys life has been pretty hectic. And he's still very young. And he's in jail now, right? Jail, prison, I don't know. It's federal. <laughs> and I think it's crazy that he is back in jail right after the time frame was up for him to not get in any more trouble from his last case, the murder case that he beat. So, okay. Let's just take a look into it, because from what they're saying, he's going to have a court date in August, and they said something about trying to throw out the evidence, right? So let's see if we can get any indication of what... What could possibly happen when he goes to court in a few weeks? Anyways, it should be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go into a lot of different aspects of this story that we have here but let's start off with this case that we have in hand what will be the outlook of the court date that NBA Youngboy has coming up can you get some insight into the court date that he has coming up Pentacles, Goddess of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles Reverse, Five of Wands, The Lovers, and The Hierophant Reverse. Um, I do see that there is a lot of buttering up of the courts. They are trying to you know, get him a deal, which I believe would be in his best interest. Um, there looks to be mm, okay, let's see. I'm going to have to get some clarification. I have so many cards. Can we clarify this moon card reverse, please? Mm -mm. I 
Let me clarify the moon card reverse. I got the Hierophant. <sighs> Where is it from, Louisiana? Yeah, there's somebody doing some, some juju on this case, baby. Working on his behalf. They are trying to sweeten that judge up, okay? They are trying to sweeten that judge up. This high priestess, she is working her juju. You can't tell me. I don't know if his mama went to them. But yeah, they are definitely trying to block his roads. They are trying, what did they say, never free again? They are serious about that shit. There is somebody that sits in the magistrate in the high levels of the court that is really not on his side. They're not seeing it his way at all. I don't know how much swindling they can do. They can even a payout. Let's let's clarify this. Two of Pentacles reverse. Can you clarify the two of pentacles for me? Cause there's something that's still a little shaky. Okay, can you clarify the two of pentacles reverse? Four of swords reverse. I don't know. He might have to do some time. I have to do some time, dog. Mm -hmm. Emmy ain't gonna have to sit. This one card for me. Is Emmy a young boy gonna have to sit? One card, yes or no, please. You don't have to sit. Four of Wands. Now, this could be him home with his baby mama, or this could be him. With whoever he be seeing every time he go back to jail. Can we clarify the four ones? Can we clarify the four ones, please? Is Indy the young boy going to have to do a sentence? get out on bond something two of wands I think he might get a bond now. I think he might be able to get out on bond we'll see Okay. Oh, that was already 10 minutes. I ain't trying to sit here all day. I ain't trying to sit here all day. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Now, the most recent drama surrounding him was with Boulevard who got shot. So let's see. Did any young boy have anything to do with the death of the rapper Boulevard? Have any 
anything to do with the, his death. There's three cars, please. <laughs> you have the full nine of wands and ten of cups reverse. Libras, they uh, they are very good at being oblivious. Okay, they can act like they have no clue what's going on. They have no idea what you're even speaking of, what you're talking about, what you're concerned with, and they can stand on that. Um, you talked about his mom. talking about his mama. Can we clarify the ten of um, pentacles reverse? Did any young boy have anything to do with his death? It's crazy because it, she's, <laughs> she's even like Mm -mm. Okay, apply for me. <sighs> Daughter of Swords Reverse. Um, yeah, he was he was the mastermind behind that. Yeah, for sure. Very vindictive. Okay, what about oh high priestess? We knew that. What about G Money? Was there any involvement from Indiana Boy in the murder of g -Man? From a spiritual aspect. Because we're not incriminating anyone over here. Just from a spiritual aspect. You know. Was there any involvement from the young boy? From the rude boy in B.A.? Any involvement in G Money's death? Maybe a young boy have any involvement in Ruth in G Money's death? Let's see. Seven of Cups. Now the pinnacles reverse and seven of wands. Mm. Let's see. We got the seven of cups here. So let's clarify that. What was high priestess? <laughs> be like bitch don't flip me no more you already know what the fuck is up okay <laughs> be like bitch don't don't get to flipping these cards you already see what the fuck we saying like oh yeah oh yeah he had it out for him he had it out for that nigga he couldn't stand him he wanted to see everything he touched crumble So let's clarify. Let's clarify this Nine of Pentacles reverse. So we know it has something to do apparently with him fucking his sister. Which I can see as an indication here in the Seven of Wands. Like, you know, I guess that crossed the line. But. G Money said that did, that wasn't a problem initially, right? So let's clarify. Anybody young boy have anything to do with G Money's death? Mm. 
Death Rivers. He keeps coming up as this. <laughs> I mean, is there anything more I need to say? So, anyways, um. He keeps coming up as the God of Cups reverse. This boy is so emotionally unstable. It's disastrous. Uh, I don't even think counseling could help, but it's kind of scary. Like, when I see these waters, they look shark infested. Like... Mm -mm. Okay, so let's get into these baby mamas. Now, first on the list, we're just going to pull one card from the deck that represents her to him, okay? So let's start off with Nisha. Cool. Can I have one card to represent Nisha? Give me one card that represents Nisha. <laughs> well, Y'all know them better than me, so. I think I got them all. Give me one card that represents Nisha. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. So, there's something about her that is a little delusional, as well as maybe a bit dramatic. Um, she gives off a bipolar feel, maybe a little erratic. I'm just doing one card. Let me turn the music back on. All right, next we have Star. What was it? Star? I have one card that represents star. One card that represents star. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. <laughs> so we went from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords. So Star, she essentially has put herself in this situation. She probably had an escape. Um, but there's something about her mind that is entangled. I'm noticing a trend that these women are... psychologically tied in his web like mm -hmm. okay but I would say that she is blind to a lot of aspects or chooses to be every everything that surrounds her is a choice there is 
absolutely nothing that she is going through that she did not decide. Um, and that was Star. Next we have Nia. Nia. This Nia, please. One card for Nia. One card that represents. She, I see she likes to fly off the handle, bitch. My cards are jumping. This bitch is hot tempered. God damn. Can I shuffle? Damn. I said one card. Just one. That's all y'all getting. One card to represent Nia, please. Okay. Another ten of swords. Oh my god. Oh my god. There is something about the way this boy gets in your head. Lord have mercy. This is the third sword. And there's something about her. She feels betrayed by him. Or vice versa. There's some sort of betrayal here. She feels... Um, Once again, there's a common theme that all of this has been a choice. Like, they know exactly what they're getting into with this boy. And whatever he is saying that convinces them to stay, he be laying that shit on thick. Because look how many chances. Look at all the chances. Next we have Jania. <clears throat> Next we have Jania. One card, please. One card to represent Jania, please. from finally different energy from the rest she is actually moving forward she has it looks like she's broken free from the cycle um there's something about her that has seen the light and it's focusing on her passions and desires she's putting herself first with this daughter of wands here, but I do still see a lot of growth, a lot of necessary growth. But she's no longer under his spell. She's taking her power back.
Now, when it comes to Jania, I do have another question. Why does Jania always end up with NBA Youngboy's ops? There's a few narratives that you could take. But what's the truth of the matter? Why does Jania always end up fucking with somebody that he beefing with? I don't know who this high priestess is, but boy, we might be looking into that. Why does Jania always end up with NBA young boys' enemies? Let's get a full picture here. Tower, Ace of Pentacles reverse, <laughs> Six of Swords, Three of Cups, Goddess of Cups reverse, God of Cups, Seven of Cups reverse, Six of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Swords reverse. It's really sad because she's just doing it to hurt him, to spite him. It's really not even a good idea. She hasn't put too much thought into it. She just sees whatever nigga is up and coming next. And she decides to fuck him, to fuck with him. Just so she can get back at him. For that simple part. Even though she's the one that chose to leave. You know, we see here, it was obviously an abusive relationship. Six of swords. But she's the one who's emotionally unstable in this, in this aspect. She's causing all these tower moments. She's the driving force behind this. There's a lot of partying, a lot of drugs, a lot of sex going on. And... I don't even think he cares that much. I think what he cares about is just the blatant disrespect. It's not it's not an emotional thing. It's just niggas be talking out Saturday neck to him. But say something about his mama. That's different. Okay, next baby mama, Drea. One card to represent Drea, please. One card to represent Drea. Satisfied, she ain't never happy. I always got her hand the fuck out. 
No, she's she's greedy. That's all I'm getting from that. She saw him as a come up. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One card for yeah, yeah, please. She likes to argue. She likes to, um, she likes to throw hands. And she, she might have a lot to do with why he's in jail. Um, I do see some blocking up his roads here. that she like to fuck on his baby mama like do they fuck each other this is giving me like scissoring Taking from it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess we could ask one more time. There might be somebody else pregnant too. I don't know if she's the only one. One card, I guess you know, is he going to have to serve some time? Make an example out of him. Put it that way. 
The NBA young boy have anything to do with King Von? The NBA young boy have anything to do with the death of King Von? The NBA young boy have anything to do with the death of King Von? Pinnacles reversed. There's somebody with the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But he is. I ain't gonna lie, he's a head honcho. He be running over that nigga. Whatever he say goes, okay? He say the word. Put a price on his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He put a price on his head. Mm. Oh yeah, one more question. How does How do you feel about Cradle Bang? How does NBA Young Boy feel about Cradle Bang? Just to get back at Jim, just so you can care, just so you can give a fuck, just to pillow talk, just to share information. That's what I'm seeing here, pillow talking, literally. So there's something here in where she, by way of her actions, is letting him know. 
Wait a sec, these niggas up. 